for our vet, Pete Weatherburn. He'll be here in the next hour. In the meantime, today, the students of Kaloshta, Kilvonton and Wicklow will be launching their charity single, Your Love Still Guides My Way. And the school have been working with Wicklow singer-songwriter Luan Parle, who's on the line. Luan, good morning. Good morning, Declan. How are you? Okay, so um, it looks like this has turned out very well, and I'm told number seven in the iTunes chart. Woo! I know. <laughs> the excitement now has just been unbelievable. Um, we couldn't believe when, uh, when, because the single was only released this morning, and uh, we couldn't believe when, when, um, when we spotted on iTunes that it was already number seven. So um, there's just this great excitement here now for the, the official launch for it. Um, and, of course, all the money is going to charity as well. So tell us the, the background. Tell us the story. How, how did it start? So back in April, uh, Imro and I teamed up together and uh, I brought five songwriting and performance workshops around the country. And, of course, one of those was at Colossica of Anton, of course, because, you know, it was my old secondary school. And um, so when I walked into the, the, the class, um, I mean, straight away I knew this was really special these this were a really really special group and um, they all had their own instruments their teacher miss mcadam she was just amazing um, and it was just a, a two-hour workshop um, and i would start off all my workshops you know by asking the students what was going on with them because i always want a song that you know they're going to write in the, in the workshop to be about you know them it's their own personal experiences and um, so one girl Irlanda, started to talk about her dad who had um he'd had a stroke and um you know, I was really touched by that. Um, and then another girl started to talk about her granddad who had Alzheimer's. And it kind of just developed from there. And um, then the, the, the theme of the song, um, it was about uh, people that were, you know, suffering with uh, sickness, illness, and um, loved ones of, you know, people that suffering with, uh, with illnesses as well. And um, so the song just sort of just took on its own life. Um, all the students played their own instruments. They were fantastic singers. And... In the couple of hours, this song was created, and I mean, I was so excited that I just I left and I got on the, on the phone to Imro and uh, producer Gavin Ralston, and I said, "Look, we need to we need to record this song, and we need to make this happen, release it as, as a single, and um, and donate the the uh, proceeds to uh, charity." And um, so the charities we chose then were the Alzheimer's uh, Association of Ireland and the Irish Heart Foundation for Prevention of Heart Attack and Stroke. So. Um, and here we are now today. <laughs> yeah, excellent. And the launch. And when is the official, uh, you know, cutting the ribbon time? Well, it's now. <laughs> oh, good. <yeah. laughs> Almost now. And you've got, um, got Simon Harris there too, is it? The Simon minister? Harris is here. And uh, we've just had uh, um, all the, the press um, taking photographs. Uh, and um, the next thing is now the big performance of the song for, for everybody, um, which we're, we're so excited about. Uh, so the students have been gearing up for that all morning and performing. And even when I came in here earlier, you know, I could hear them <laughs> when I was driving up. So, um, so yeah, so we're almost there now. <laughs> well, we're going to catch up with them later on and yeah. let everybody hear uh, the product of their work and your work with them. Your love still guides my way. So well done. And we let you go Thank back you. to the uh, creamy cakes and uh, yeah. whatever <laughs> Is there? <laughs> um, uh, we, we'll have a chat later on. So well Lovely. done, Luan. Thanks. Thank you very much, Declan. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Uh Earlier on, we were talking to singer-songwriter Luan Parl. She was telling us about her work with the students of Kaloche de Kilvanton and their uh, launching of the charity single, Your Love Still Guides My Way. Well, let's go to Kaloche de Kilvanton right now and the music teacher, Claire McAdam. Good morning to you, Claire. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm not too bad. All excited. A very exciting day in Kaloche de Kilvanton, yes. Very good. Tell us about the work that went on f and your input uh, together with the students. Well, I, first of all, I'm the music teacher in Crossgill Vanton and um, last March, um, Luanne Parle, the songwriter from Wicklow, got in touch with us. Um, she sent me an email and she asked, would she, uh, would she mind coming in to give a songwriting workshop to the students? So um, the students that were picked were 30 students who uh, study music in our school. And they worked with Luan for a full day, composing lyrics and different melodies and figuring out what accompaniment worked best. 
Um, and I must say, like, a massive congratulations has to go to the students, my students, the music students of this school, who worked so hard um, with Luan that day. Um, and personally, when I'm talking from my own experience in working with these students, they are an absolute pleasure to have in my classroom. Um, look, they give 110% to everything they do inside and outside school. I was, and I've seen that especially this year when we competed uh, for the Walton's um, all Ireland final in Dublin in the National Concert Hall. Um, so you've got a pedigree there, there's no oh, doubt about it. Yeah, no, um, I have um, to say, I have very good yeah. students. What, what ages are these students then, Claire? These students range from 13 up to 18. So it is the students currently in second year up until sixth year. Fantastic. So it's a range of students sitting junior there and even there in right. music. And very creative. Very creative. They're yeah. brilliant. Now you're, you sound proud. <laughs> yes, very proud. Brilliant day for Clark Kavatham. Excellent stuff. Well, we're going to talk to some of them later on and hear the song as well, Your Love Still Guides My Way. Uh, and uh, I want to note that it is for charity, the Irish Heart Foundation yes, it's for the and Irish Heart Alzheimer's uh, Foundation yeah. and the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland, the two uh, chosen charities by the students of the school. Well done, uh, Claire McAdam. Thanks very much indeed, Claire. No problem, thank you. So Good morning much. to you, thank you. Nice to talk to you. Uh, the music teacher in Colosh to Kill Vontan there, Claire McAdam. On That is the number seven song on iTunes this morning in uh, the wake of its release from Luan Parle and the students of Kilosh de Kilvanton in Wicklow Town. And Matthew Nolan joins us from there. Matthew, good morning. Hello, good morning, how are you? Good morning, congratulations. Thank you very much, it's amazing. I say it was great fun, was it? Yeah, it's great fun, yeah. I'm, here, I'm actually here with uh, Eve, uh, Irlanda and Sophie as well, other students. So. And you all put together, what contribution did you make? Um, well, I'm a singer, so I uh, sang and I also helped compose some of the lyrics and songs. So uh, Sophie here, she uh, played piano. Orlando played, uh, sang and wrote lyrics and also Eva wrote and sang lyrics as well. Fantastic. So uh, uh, it's all been great today and uh, number seven in the, the iTunes number, chart. Yeah. yeah, we just checked there as well. Apparently it's number two now in the iTunes Oh, chart. brilliant. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. I can't believe it. Great. Okay, well, maybe I'll have a chat with uh, one of the others there, maybe... Yeah, no problem. Uh, would you like to speak to Orlando because the yeah. song's about her dad, anyway, so... Yes, please, that'd be great, Orlando. And hi to, to Eva and Sophie as well. Hello. Hello, Orlando. Hi. Tell us the story. Um, so, you see, when Luan came to our school, we really wanted to, you know, grasp the opportunity of, um, you know, writing a song. And I really felt like when we... It was a great opportunity for me to kind of you know, share my story and stuff, and I thought it was it was a great way of, um, you know, expressing through the lyrics and stuff, but we left it open to interpretation so that, you know, the person who's listening to it can, you know, interpret the song in many different ways. And you have a personal affinity then to this yourself? Yes. There's a lot for of... For me personally, yeah. it's about my dad, because I really, it was, you know, he played a lot of instruments, and when he had a stroke, he wasn't able to play his instruments because half of his body was somehow paralyzed and um it wasn't functioning the same so therefore you know he wasn't able to play the instruments like he used to and i really felt like you know doing this for him it kind of just showed to him that you know he can like i always felt like whenever i sang around him he kind of looked at me and you know wasn't very happy about it because he kind of was like you know i can't do this anymore mm. kind of thing but um you know it's it's, it's great Brilliant. Well, congratulations, Orlando, and to uh, even Sophie and to Matthew and um, everybody else. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I put you on to Eva now. Well, I've just run out of time, actually, on it, oh. so unfortunately. But it was great to get your story and, and hear from uh, Matthew and uh, Luan earlier on and, and Miss McAdam as well. Okay. So the best of luck with that. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, great. Take care. Bye-bye now. Okay, and uh, well done to all at Kalosh Kilvanton.